Welcome back, this is Yamit Jack, and today we have uh, Gunslinger Nuked Suicidal, and uh, we have some important stuff to talk about today. Some stuff uh, that is actually quite sad. We are we are mourning the loss of a uh, of an important thing on our channel. Um, the KF2 Prestige Skin Preview video is uh, age restricted now, so if you're not 18 plus, you can't watch it. I got the email for it uh, last night, and kind of, you know, like I I, I kind of knew that we talked about it before when when YouTube came out with this age restricted stuff, and and I, I talked about how it's kind of like super bad news for my channel. Um, we weren't getting age restricted. We also don't have too many views. Like typically, a KF2 episode gets somewhere in the neighborhood of five to to twenty views. Typically, you know. Um, so we we weren't really in. We weren't garnering any attention there. We weren't really getting any any kind of uh, you know the publicity necessary to to be noticed and then age restricted. Um, it's also like a new thing. So. For, for my most popular KF2 video to be age restricted, it's it's kind of a big deal, right? Um, and I was talking to a friend about it, and, and he said, uh, you know, hey, maybe it's just that one video. But when when you're trying to to make a business, well, not necessarily a business, when you're trying to make a living out of something, having your most popular stuff be restricted and and limited like this is like a just extremely demotivating um, we're gonna be getting less growth because of that video now that video will get fewer views fewer new subscriptions fewer people being drawn into the channel um, and it's not like it is different content than than you know a normal let's play or something like that but at the same time it, it isn't you know like the, the reality is that, that this kind of content that we're doing right now is, is much the same as what's in the KF2 Prestige skins. The, the Prestige skin preview is just more, like, I don't know, scientific, I guess. It, it's more emotionless, but uh, it, it's ultimately the same content. Like, you have a head and you explode it, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it's the same violence, it's the same gore and, and blood and... and uh, all this kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So it, it definitely, you know, yeah, I could look at it and, and say, hey, you know, it's just that one video, not that big a deal, but I, I, I can't, going forward, I can't be confident, I, I can't have any confidence that um, I'd be able to turn this into a living because they're, they're definitely taking action against this kind of content, um, which is, is bad for me right which it, it's extremely bad for me um, and uh, you know yeah uh, I, I've heard on the grapevine you know that uh, disabling gore right so if you go into the uh, I have like a scratch on my head here that's very strange um, yeah it's weird uh, if we go in here and we turn off the uh, there should be gore or something like that right isn't there? Is it in gameplay? <laughs> is, it in, is it in gameplay? Yeah, gore intensity. We turn that to low gore instead of high gore. Um, I have heard that that will be... I should have upgraded rather than whatever. That that will be monetizable and not age restricted. However, YouTube's already a fickle beast on its own. If you talk to any professional YouTuber, you know, you talk to somebody with, with a few hundred thousand Either subscribers and they're happy making videos, doing stuff that's that's good, you know? If you talk to any one of them, pretty much, and you ask them where they're going to see themselves in 10 years, very, very few are going to be confident that they'll still be making videos, even if that's what they want to be doing. You know, you'll often get responses like, well, hopefully uh, still making YouTube videos if YouTube still lets me, you know? 
because uh, it's already a fickle beast enough. There, there's always you don't really have a lot of job security. You know, YouTube could kind of just rip your job away from you at, at any possible moment. Like they could just tomorrow be like, "Yep, all of uh, all of the professional YouTubers are just gone now. They don't they don't make money anymore." You know, and you know, there's a good chance they won't do that. Like a pretty good chance that they won't do that tomorrow, but who's to say that five years from now, you know, events don't happen that, that ends up making that the best decision for YouTube, you know? It's not necessarily always going to be in YouTube's best interest for uh, content creators to be um, getting, like, making a living on it. And it's already, like, becoming less, <laughs> like, well, not even becoming, it's, it's a very not viable job. Uh, to be a professional YouTuber. I say this as an aspiring YouTuber. Um, like, it's, it's just... So so when you're making content that YouTube is clearly trying to, to limit, you know? Even if you're like, oh, well, I turned the gore down, so I got around the system. It just... You really don't get to feel like you have any kind of uh, security there. You really don't get to feel like you have um, much control. Uh, and that is a problem for me personally so I'm not really sure where we go from here because the 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 moral of the story is if you break it down um, if I want to be a professional youtuber I cannot have KF2 contents on the channel that makes me my living right like that that can't happen like it, it, it you know, you, you can say, hey, you can have, you know, your Minecraft series and your KF2 content. I don't know. It, it's kind of the same kind of thing, right? Like, I don't know if, uh, if YouTube's going to prevent my channel in general. Like, if I have some family-friendly Minecraft videos going up on the on my channel. Is YouTube going to show my channel to, to, you know, I don't want to target kids, but, like, I don't want to exclude kids. It's not kid-centric content, but uh, definitely all ages appropriate anyway. You know, is, is YouTube going to show my content to people who are, you know, under the age of 18? Or people, you know, maybe maybe those videos aren't age-restricted, but YouTube's probably still going to see my channel in general as, as, as largely age-restricted, and I don't know, maybe... Maybe this changes so that people can have both 18 plus content and non 18 plus content on their channel, and and have those separate viewers for for the different content. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. And then the other thing is, is I don't know if you know two years from now, if that's still going to be the same anyway. So even if it is the same today, two years from now, maybe maybe they're just like, yeah, no, you can't have any adult content on uh, on your channel, which is reasonable if you're making you know family friendly content. You shouldn't be. You know, like that's that's a reasonable uh, stance to have, in my opinion. So it's it's like uh, if I want the best opportunity at uh, turning YouTube and, and Twitch and all this into into my long term, well, longish term anyway, career. I can't be having YouTube. I can't be having KF2 content on the same channel that I have my more family friendly content like the Amajack tries and um, some other stuff because maybe maybe if you have like a couple of videos that are fam that are, are 18 plus on your channel YouTube will limit them restrict them and then uh, you know move move along right like those videos are restricted everything else is, is you're, you're largely pretty pretty good about stuff you make a couple of mistakes here and there you're fine right like that I feel confident in the issue here is that I make two KF2 videos a day. That's like an insane amount of uh, adult content, you know? Like an insane amount of adult content. And uh, if I end up making like two videos a week that are more family oriented, that's a drop in the bucket, you know what I mean? Like that's like 10% of my content is family oriented and 90% of it is adult only. I don't know. I'd, I'd probably classify my channel as, as being a, uh, a primarily um, adults content channel, you know, like 18 and up primarily and, and just kind of like, be like, yep, 18 plus, you know. 
that that's a reasonable thing to do. It would be a lot easier on uh, on the processing power of the server. It'd be a lot easier on on a lot of things. And then you know, if I ever decide to to change it, I could then um, appeal, get things looked into more manually. But um, you know, at least for 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 like automation, it would just be so much easier to just mark my channel as as largely age not a, like age restricted, just because it is. And then not let kids watch my channel, or even not even just kids, but like 16 year olds, 17 year olds, you know? Just because they're not 18. And, uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't really know what to do. Um, I know what the, the best decision to do is. If, if my goal is to, to make money on YouTube, my, my, my best decision, and I'm not doing this, this is just to get the idea out there, brainstorm a little bit, and, and, uh, See what we're gonna do. The best decision for me is to stop making KF2 videos entirely, delete all of the KF2 videos on my channel, um, and then uh, start making RuneScape and Minecraft content. So a couple of videos a week of both of those, and then uh, some RuneScape streams as well. That's the best decision. That's the decision that gets me to uh, a point of making a living on YouTube, like as quickly as possible. That's that's like. I, I would I would suspect that I'm I'm making a living within the next like year on YouTube like pretty confidently if I did that. The issue is that I don't want to do that, you know, and I gotta find like a middle ground that kind of gets me um, to a good point. The next best decision is to do exactly that and then start up a second channel where I have the KF2 videos going live. And again, I don't really want to do that. You know, like I, I'm, I'm happy with the KF2 videos. I've, I've talked about it before, but they have been really revolutionary in, in my life, and, and I've, I've learned a lot through making them, and, and I'm a lot more confident of a person now. Like me as a person, personally, the, the person who's talking here has changed a lot just through having this KF2 series running. I'm a very different person now, and I value that so, so much. I would never want to do anything that hurts the integrity of the channel. Of, of the series, the KF2 series specifically. Um, so it's kind of like, well, where do you go from there? And, and I guess the next logical step is that uh, we continue making the KF2 videos over here. We just yeet all of the other stuff. So like, you know, the Yamajack tries, Gunfire Reborn, um, uh, any kind of RuneScape content, like anything that's not KF2, we yeet. We get rid of it, okay? And uh, in the future, I might be able to make this more of a, an adult-oriented channel. So if I were to eventually have a, a vlog, I could have some like more behind-the-scenes, more adulty kind of vloggy stuff, talking about the more um, the more adult kind of content that goes on in, in, in a person's life. Not necessarily talking about, uh, you know, detailed, you know, graphs of my sexual relations with partners or whatnot, but, but you know, talking about, uh, this this would be the channel where we get the, the dildo sponsorships, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not necessarily a, a porn channel, but a more adult-oriented channel for sure. Uh, and then we'd have the more family-friendly stuff over on the other one. Uh, and that could maybe work out, I don't know. Um, like, you know, have 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 that kind of like split between the two channels. I don't know if that would really be too great. And uh, the other issue is, with that, if I start a new channel, I don't have my Yamajack name on YouTube, which I would like, so I'd have to see if I can fix that, get that kind of on the right like username for for YouTube um, I have to see if it's possible anyway and then uh, I would have to uh, also rebuild up from from nothing right so if we kept this as the adult oriented channel where we put uh, the KF2 and um, in the future when I'm vlogging we'd, we'd have uh, I don't know Dildo reviews or something. Who knows, dude? Um, th this would probably be the channel where if I was... Uh, like, I'm, I'm eventually going to be starting a vlog. Uh, and in that vlog, I would probably be going over my transition. And there would be 
you know, I'll eventually have various surgeries related to uh, being trans. Those would probably go on this channel rather than the family-friendly channel. Um, and, uh, you know, stuff stuff like that. More and more adult-style content, but not like, you know, I don't need to go make a Pornhub account, okay? <laughs> That's not necessary. Um, but, you know. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to regrow all of my, uh, my subscribers and everything. I've got a decent chunk of subscribers over here already. I get a decent number of views. I get good stuff going on here, and, and I'd have to redo all of that. I just, honestly, I'm just kind of a little lost. I'm a little bit lost. Last night when I got the email, I was pretty torn up by it, um, because it was kind of a confirmation. I was already kind of feeling, uh, like, um... YouTube as I'm currently doing it is, is not going to work. We've, we've talked about it a couple of times now, where I, I felt like uh, YouTube as a, as a platform is, is just not totally going great. We have to make some changes. We were talking about Minecraft content and and stuff. Um, and then to get that email just kind of like really solidified it. Like, yeah, this is absolutely no possible chance of this, this possibly working out. It just can't happen. And... Um, it was definitely a bit of a slap to the face. It definitely hurt. It definitely felt bad. It felt really bad. So I just I, I'm a little bit lost. I have to I have to think about it a bit more. But I, I think because I don't want to get rid of the KF2 series on this channel. Okay, that's like 100%. The KF2 series on this channel does not go anywhere. It stays always. We 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 can't. I can't get rid of it. So if I want to make a living on YouTube, I have to either find a way to, to build up an audience that's enough to, to survive off of through adult content, you know, age-restricted content, 18 and up stuff. I have to find a way to, to build up an audience to to make that through, uh, through making this kind of content. And right now it's not age-restricted, so, you know, may maybe I have time to build up that audience. Cause, you know, once you have the audience, you know, Pathfinder and and uh, Richard Dangles and all these guys, they've got time, you know, once once uh, their videos start getting age restricted and stuff, even though they have gore turned down, they're probably still going to be fine, because their viewers are going to be largely 18 and up, and uh, their, their source of income is largely going to be sponsorships and, uh, um, sponsorships and, and like, Patreons and, uh, YouTube subscriptions and, and stuff like that, right? Like, they, they have the audience to be able to survive something like this. I don't. I don't. I don't have the audience. I have to grow, and and growing is. It's just harder, right? Like it's harder to do when you when you're age restricted. Like just you you're age restricted. You're restricting your audience, right? Like just straight up. Um, and uh, you know, I I understand why. I don't. I don't think it's a bad decision to be age restricting contents. Uh, I I'm just saying that it does negatively impact me for sure. And uh, you know, but I don't have the I don't have the audience to survive a kind of hit like this. So uh, if I want to make a living on YouTube, I have to either find some way to make it happen. You know, by some miracle, you know, Pathfinder ends up hitting me up, Richard Dangles, and like, hey, let's come uh, play some KF2. You know, that could happen. Like 99%, it's not gonna happen. But like. That's the kind of, like, miracle kind of, uh, uh, recovery that I would need to be able to turn this into a living, you know? But it's not gonna happen. Like, it just... I've never spoken to either of them before. I'm a nobody. Why Why would they do that? You know? Like, there's... It would make no sense. It, like, honestly, like, honestly, it would make no sense that if they hit me up, I'd be like, wow, that's fake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just... And, and that's kind of the point, right, is that what I would need to do to make this channel work at this point with KF2 content and, and turn it into a living is literally something that is just, like, so unbelievably unlikely to actually happen. Um, so, if I want to make a living on YouTube, if I want to turn YouTube into my career, you know, what I have to do is, because uh, I'm not getting rid of the KF2 series on this channel, it's staying. Um... I can't have a miracle happen and turn this into my living. You know, KF2 is, is never going to be my job. As much as I wish it would. He always disappears on me when he does this. 
Aha, I found you. I got him! Um, so the KF2 series on this channel is not going anywhere. And I can't make a living on it. So if I want to make a living on YouTube, I need a second channel. It's just a logical step, right? So guess what this video is all about? It's that we're going to have another channel coming up where we're going to be putting all of the non-KF2 content. And we're not going to have any non-KF2 content on this channel for the foreseeable future. It'll be exclusively KF2. Um, and I'll just have to manage two channels at the same time, which sounds like a bit of a pain in the butt, right? But at the same time, you know, that's that's this is what it is. This is this is what we do now. Um, so it's sad. I don't know what we're gonna manage the new channel. I don't know what the theme of it is gonna be. I don't know none of this stuff. Uh, but probably what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be reducing the quality of everything on this channel. The KF2 thumbnails will stay the same, but the the quality of uh, the banners and all this kind of stuff, I'll just move it over to the new channel so that the new channel is the one that has all the the fancy things, and then um, we'll have the new channel with uh, with all of the good um, content that actually makes me money or could that has the opportunity to possibly you know not necessarily definitely will but but has the opportunity to, to possibly do it anyway um, that's what we're gonna do I just have to put in some time and get it figured out get it set up and then uh, cry a little bit <laughs> Probably a little bit. Um, I am sad by it because I was really excited to turn KF2 into like I was really excited to get into like making all these new KF2 videos, you know, like getting the collectibles guides and the new skin guides and all this kind of stuff. And now I'm just looking at it and I'm like, investing time into making KF2 content is stupid. It's a terrible idea. It's not going to go anywhere. It's just not worth doing. I might still do it because I was, I was excited about doing it, but. Um, I just, it doesn't matter anymore. KF2 isn't my, it's not going to be what I do for a career, you know? Anyway, I will have uh, a video coming up soon-ish with the new channel where we will be having all of the new content that we'll have on the new channel. I'm going to have to figure out what we're going to be putting on the channel. Probably something like, probably, probably a Yamachek tries, um, probably some Gunfire Reborn. Uh, we will probably have, well, we'll definitely have a Minecraft series and a RuneScape series. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. But I'll have a link, I'll have a video coming up soon uh, talking about the change and uh, more details about it when I when I figure it out. I just, I don't know what it is right now. I'm still kind of lost, honestly. I don't, I don't really know what's happening. I don't really know what to do. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave, like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.